Hey everyone, welcome to the Not So Legal Show. Today we're going to be talking about being naked and sex education. Let's start off with some music news. Erica Badu was recently charged with disorderly conduct for taking her clothes off for one of her music videos while filming in Dallas, Texas. Taking your clothes off usually doesn't mean you've committed a crime, except in this instance, Miss Badu thought it'd be a good idea to walk down a public street, take her clothes off, and fall on the ground all while it was being filmed. I should also mention she decided to do this grand plan in front of Dealey Plaza where Kennedy was shot. Has she ever heard of getting a permit? There are all kinds of arguments going on about why should anyone care and no one's really harmed by seeing a naked woman. I don't disagree with any of that, but the point is people don't walk around taking their clothes off in random places. I understand if you want to do a controversial video and it's probably interesting and entertaining, but just do what you need to do. Take the right precautions. Get a permit, close off the area. It isn't any different than people that film porno films. Do I care what people are doing in the valley right now? No, they can do whatever they want, but just do it in private or get a permit. I don't think she needs to spend a year in jail, but I'm certainly happy there are some consequences to her actions. In other Naked Legal news, at the Museum of Modern Art, there's an exhibit which features 38 performers in rotating shifts of eight, facing each other at a doorway or lying under a skeleton or posing in general. I should mention, however, that the performers are not wearing any clothes. Visitors to the museum have decided that it's okay to touch or push the naked performers, and while there haven't been any calls made to 911, I can only imagine how uncomfortable it would be for some of these people working as a performer for the exhibit. Now the question is legally, if one of the visitors to the museum acts inappropriately toward one of the performers, could they be charged with any kind of crime? After all, the performers choosing to be naked in public and also consented to be part of an art exhibit where potentially someone might want to check out the exhibit. Lucky for them, the fact that they chose to be naked in an art exhibit would not be a defense to some kind of crime involving bodily harm toward them. I'd love to know if anyone's ever actually seen this exhibit, so write in and tell me about it. On a final note, and in, my, in line with my naked legal news theme here, a district attorney in Juneau County, Wisconsin warned teachers that if they teach the new sex ed course being mandated under state law, that they could be arrested for contributing to the delinquency of a child. Okay, so I don't think kids need to see random naked women while walking around while they're filming a music video, and I don't think you should go up to a performer at an art exhibit and randomly reach out and touch someone, but sex ed? The district attorney's arguing that by teaching children this new sex ed program, you'd be encouraging them to have sex. And since minors can't legally have sex in Wisconsin, you would be encouraging them to break the law and that would result in more child assaults. Really? I mean, I didn't realize teaching someone about sex would be encouraging them to go out and assault someone. Can't say I agree with this one. Thanks for watching the Not So Legal Show. Remember to honor your power and stay tuned for the next video posting.